Hello guys, I don't know who is going to help these Edo State lawmakers because right now they are in a big mess. Remember that Frank Okie said that uh, the 14th seat remains vacant and uh, he said it is over 180 days and they cannot return to the House of Assembly. And uh, you know, these guys have also insisted that they would come back and you know, from on the ground there's been a little uh, hitches here and there but this time the governor of the state have spoken and guess what he said about the 14 lawmakers you know that governor Gordon Obasek is a kind man but you can never tell what uh, he could actually do but this time around he have spoken and you know when it comes from the horse's mouth you just have to respect whatever decision he has chosen to take but details of all of these i'll bring to you shortly guys but before then if you have not subscribed to this channel please ensure you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your notification bell because that is the best and only way you get notified and updated anytime we drop a new video okay guys let us hear what the king has to say what governor godwin obaseki has to say of edo state regarding the 14 lawmakers remember he has not really spoken anything about this since after the election it has been the speaker of the house who have uh, you know uh, come out to the public to tell them that uh, the seat is vacant because it is over 180 days and once it is over 180 days without this guy sitting that means it is over for them Okay, it says right here that the Edo State Governor, Godwin Obaseke, has said he cannot do anything to bring the 14 Edo All Progressive Congress lawmakers back to the Assembly for inauguration. He spoke on Monday during a thank you visit to the leadership of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. He said, we have a, dis a, dis a dissident group that people elected and refused to be inaugurated. They were not prevented. They were listening to their godfather. Who who kept hoping and promising that he would unconstitutionally get the state house of assembly to reissue a proclamation even after the court had settled the matter for more than 180 days they did not come they refused to represent the people those seats became vacant that's what the constitution says they went to court after 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 those were declared vacant by the speaker there is nothing i can do at this time i wish it didn't happen but people were playing god and promising what is not constitutional i am not one that plants people into house of assembly they on their own operated the rules the way it should be the seats are now vacant even if i wanted to bring them back i don't have such powers this is so unfortunate for those 14 lawmakers it is over 180 days like governor Gordon Obaseke explained here he said that it is well over 180 days and the speaker of the house have spoken so really for him there's really nothing he could do he said they listened to their godfathers and the godfathers has actually made some statements that were unconstitutional, has even pushed them to do some unconstitutional things, that they had to start holding meetings outside the House of Assembly in secret places, passing uh, bills and all of that in the state. And, you know, it was a whole lot of issue at that point in time. And imagine if the governor-elect did not win that election. You can imagine the kind of disgrace they would have been putting him through saying that he did not allow these 14 lawmakers to be inaugurated i remember these guys actually came out to tell their people that they want to represent them but perhaps maybe because of the plans they had uh, on the ground they refused to be inaugurated for reasons best known to them because up to this point we really do not have the exact reason why they were not inaugurated they only arranged for all of them to be inaugurated but to find out that the 14 apc lawmakers refused to show up for inauguration and they said now that it is over 180 days and once it is over 180 days your seat automatically becomes vacant it is in the constitution so it is nobody's fault that these guys were are now out of the house of assembly it is nobody's fault because you know before the election they were trying to put all blames on the governor of the state that he refused to inaugurate uh, uh the 14 lawmakers and all of that all of that but oh, we can 
obviously see that these lawmakers had their own agenda. It's just that the agenda did not happen and refused to happen. And now things have backfired against them. And you know what Frank Okie said? He said this uh, vacant seat will only, before anybody could occupy, they will have to be re-elected again. That is if the people still want them to represent them. I know a lot of them will lose their seats. Yet, obviously, they are going to lose their seat. It is just an unfortunate incident because in Nigeria, people just feel constitution does not matter. Yes, when the chips are down, you would know that the law can be against you because everyone just feels, oh, we can do what we like because we're in power at that time. I wonder why the 14 lawmakers refused to be inaugurated. Perhaps there's been a promise that we're giving to them that if they behave such in such a way that this is the amount that they were going to be given because i remember that they uh said uh, they gave them some amount of money back then that uh, they should try to i think they were just trying to frustrate the government of the day because the government was about to leave power and the election is closed and all of that they were just trying to frustrate the government but now it has backfired against them i wonder what they are really going to do i wonder what their next line of action or their plans are going to be perhaps some of them are going to sit back at home i remember someone was even saying one of the lawmakers was even a taxi driver so you can imagine you have such an opportunity to represent your people but just because you are listening to the outside world you forget you are there to represent the people because if with such intention that you really want to represent your people on the day of inauguration you would not say you will not show up when you're supposed to show up yeah for no reason should you not show up for inaugurations but just because they wanted to make a point out of no point, they decided not to be inaugurated. But now see where they are today. I hope that, you know, some of these guys actually get reelected because I feel so sorry for them because this kind of mistake is so pathetic that uh, even the, the person that was pushing them is somewhere enjoying his money and enjoying his life. But now you are here, the opportunity you had, you have thrown it away. See where you have left yourself and your family because definitely you would have represented your people of that local government very well and even that uh, constituency. But see what you have done to yourself just because you have been deceived by somebody. Anyway, it is their luck. It is their fate. Perhaps that is how God has arranged their fate to be that they were never meant to represent their constituencies. But those that are meant to be, I'm very sure when they are re-elected, some of them will be re-elected. Once there is an election, some of them will be re-elected and some might not. It is just it. And that is just it. It is what it is, like they would say. So there's really nothing anyone can do about it. And now the governor has spoken that even if he wants to do anything about their return, that at this time he his hands are tied and he cannot do anything anymore because the speaker have spoken and constitutionally it is over 180 days so guys i don't know what's going on but uh, you guys can drop your comments and tell us what you think and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to have a pleasant time bye for now